Hi guys, I am embracing some of the free time that I still have and I am waiting for my shortbread to cool down before I put the rest of my caramel squares on top. So I thought I'd do a quick um, guide video tutorial on SMR, self myofascial release um, or foam rolling. So it's pretty much um, a massage that you can do on yourself. Um, if I were teaching motor in a class, we would do SMR at the end as a cool down. Um, I haven't necessarily been doing it in the main classes online because we don't have as much time. Um, but this is a little run through that you can go through whenever you finish your workout. You can use it as a warm up or if you've just had a long day at the, at the office and um, a little bit of a stretch out. So start off with your roller. You can have the arms in or out. My arms are in. It makes it a little bit heavier so it's a little bit easier to roll yourself. Um, you want to have a mat preferably underneath. And if you can do this on a hard floor with a soft mat, it's better. You can use the carpet, you just won't get quite as much pressure. So if we start off on our back, you're gonna take yourself down, bring your butt to one edge of the roller, and then just carefully bring yourself onto the roller or across your shoulder blades. So this is a little one for your back. You want your shoulder blades to come in nice and heavy across it. And as we roll the back, I want you to be really careful. You don't start to roll your neck or your lower back too much. If you feel loads of pressure or pain, it's a good idea to stop. Um, but we are looking for little pinpoints of pressure to pressure to hold on. So if you pop your hands in behind your head, introduce your fingers for some support, and then just lift the hips up. And what you want to do is just roll yourself gently back and forward along the maybe muscles of the back. You can take it slightly onto the left side. And then slightly onto the right side. And just roll as much as you're comfortable to. With my belly in the way, this is a little bit more awkward than normal. But you should feel quite a nice sensation. Like you're releasing the pressure. As you roll around, if you find any little pockets of soreness that you do want to hold on, maybe into the metal traps. You can take a little bit of time and just hold the weight there. If you prefer just to keep moving, you're also very welcome to do that. This is mostly about what feels best for you. So just think to yourself, think about your body and focus on the muscles. Nice big breaths as you roll. Get the blood flush back. And whenever you're ready, you lower the hips back to the ground and you can come up. What I'm going to do is bring yourself on so that you're sitting on the roller. Take the roller in underneath your butt. Bring your hands to the floor behind you for some support. And all I want you to do is take all of your weight onto one side. So I'm on my right side. I'm just going to rock the knees over to the side. I come to rest on the side of my foot. So for the glutes, you want to roll in a circular movement down, round and up. Taking your time. Working your way through glute meat on the outside. Maybe roll down into the lower back slightly, find the QL, and then roll right through the meaty middle, get the piriformis. As you get into the middle, you might find a little bit that pinches slightly. Again, you want to take a little bit of time and hold on it. For this one, just making sure you're not putting yourself under too much pressure. It might start to feel like you're bruising. Or if you are new to this, if you've never done it before, you might actually bruise, so just be careful. Go easy on yourself. If you feel comfortable on that, you can take it down that little bit further. Those little pockets at the side of the body that you might call love handles. That's getting into the QL. And I always find I hold loads of tension there, so just take a little bit of time. Find where you're feeling this the most. And then draw it in. We're going to switch to the side. So take the weight over onto the other side, the left glute. And again, roll out around the glute mead, up into the QL, and round through the midi middle into the piriformis. Out, down, and round. Nice and easy. Find the size of the hips. Nice breath. Take yourself right down through the glute and again if you want to take it that little bit higher into the lower back through the keel just take your time if you do have any back issues just go easy on this one oh and then back to the center 
then you're going to bring both hips back on again and then you're going to come on to the floor on the other side we're going to do the hamstrings so two thighs on again hands on the floor legs are long and just rolling across the length of the upper thigh you want to try to take this from the back of the hips to the back of the knees and if you would like a little bit more tension on this one, I'm really tender, my hamstrings are quite tight today. You can cross one leg over the other and take all of the weight through one leg. If you want to do that, maybe take a little roll around out, up the middle, and then slightly into the inner thighs. Ooh. Maybe you can spend as much time as you want on this one. I'm going to switch over to the other side before I start to bruise. And then right. Again, inner, center, and then slightly up to the outside. Oh, right one's not quite as tight. Last little roll. And then back to the floor. So we can also do the calf muscles. What I like to do for the calf muscles is have one leg on and one leg off. Dependent on your range of mobility, you can have your foot over to the side, take the weight onto one leg, oh, and then just gently press and roll into it. If you have a really high pain threshold, or you're not feeling it on the single leg with one leg supporting, just take both legs onto the roller. It's a little bit harder to get this one, so find your positioning, roll out to the side, Roll in, little maneuver, and then we'll switch the sides. In, out. Get a good arm workout for these as well. Reposition your roller as you need to. Press into it, pull back. Three, two, and one. Awesome. So from here, roll it out. We're going to take it round. You're going to find a child's pose. So toes come together, knees go wide. You're up nice and tall. Take your hands onto the roller and then just gently use the roller to lengthen yourself out. So this isn't about foam rolling the arms. It's about using the roller to lengthen the back. So you can rock in and out of this as much as you want to. Come in down with the chest, press the pelvis. And then arch, roll it up. Each time you come up, let the knees go a little bit wider. Drop down, reach long, open the shoulders, pull the heart forward, and then scoop all the roll to the top. Let yourself roll, press away, and roll it up. Couple more there, breathe in, breathe out. Last one. And tall to the top. Lovely. From here, knees are going to come together. Bring the roller right to your knees. And then bring yourself down onto your forearms. So forearm plank with the thighs on the roller. From this position, we're going to roll through the quads. So the big muscles go to the front of your thighs. The hinge comes from the hips on this one. And if you don't want to roll over your kneecaps or your hip bones. So use the muscle, the meaty soft part, and then roll forward. And back, flush through. For the quads, you can work in a few different ways. You can bring your heels together, get a little bit more into the inner thighs and the VMO over the knee. You can take it right down the middle, through the center. And then if you bring your toes together, open your heels, get a little bit more into the IT and the outer thighs. So just roll through a few of these literally a few of these options and see where you feel best in this one. Nice and easy. Again, it's hinging on the shoulders, so rest if you need to. A little bit of work in the upper back. Two more. Last one. And then you're going to come back down onto your knees. So this one's everybody's favourite and it is one of those ones. You kind of have to grin and bear it for a little bit. It is quite painful. 
So just take your time and rest again if you need to. So you are going to go onto the left forearm, the left hip. I would like your left leg long underneath and your right foot to the floor. Once you're there, you can take the right hand to the floor as well. And you're using the right side of your body, so the right foot, the right hand, to take some of the pressure off the IT on the left side. So we're rolling through the outer thigh on the left. Up to you, the pressure on this one. This is one that can be quite painful. And we really are just flushing the blood through, getting a little bit of space. Just a little gentle massage from hip to knee. You want to feel that fascia it is tight underneath and that's what we find. It's supposed to be tight there. It's going to hold you upright. But it's just giving you that little bit of extra blood flow just to re-energize the Rudy area. So we won't spend too long here. So just take your time, roll down. Roll back, it's like burning sensation. Again, don't put too much into it. One more. And then release. I'm gonna get you to switch sides. I'm gonna do the whole maneuver over so you can still see me. We're gonna to go to the right hip, right hand to the floor, right leg straight, left foot comes in in front with the knee bent, then left hand to the floor. Again, rolling through that right thigh from hip to knee. Nice and slow. One side always feels a bit easier on this one. For me, it's somehow this one. Nice breath down and in. Last couple, breathe. Last one. And center. Coming back together. Perfect, guys. I'm going to get you to sit onto your roller for me. There are a few other foam roller moves we can do, but those are the basics for you to use at home. If you sit yourself on the roller just to finish all of that off, what I want you to do is cross your ankles over. Take a breath in and then reach the arms. Interlace the fingers. As you breathe out, you're going to scoop the belly, press the roller, roll out, and then slowly rise up and reach. Circle the arms. So left, breathe in. Breathe out. Try to lengthen the legs, stretch up through the sides of the back. Draw to the top, pull the roller back, and then circle. Last one. Breath in. Breath out, breath in, breath out. As always, finish off with a big shoulder roll. And guys, that is SMR. Cool down for your motor. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon.